If you're struggling to engage your audience or you wanna grow your audience but don't know where to start, here's all you need to do. You just gotta deliver content in a way that is engaging, actionable, and memorable. Imagine that you're trapped in a room and the only way out is to master the art of teaching. I know. <laughs> Sounds intense, right? But listen, today I'm gonna reveal a five part framework that will help you teach anything successfully and escape the trap of ineffective communica communication. Wait, who, who are you? What, what, what? what? said to imagine being trapped. I like things a little more real. Let's see if you really know your stuff. There are five challenges you must solve in order to escape. Fail to complete them and you never see the light of day again. <laughs> hmm. You have seconds to get complete strangers, not only listening to you, but excited to hear more about what you can teach them. Without this, You'll never capture their gaze. Solve it and you'll light up their days. What is it that you need to grab your audience's attention? That's a hook. You gotta have a hook. A hook is what like just brings them right in to want to listen to more. Now, generally, hooks are gonna be focused around solving a problem or a challenge or speaking to a goal or desire that your audience wants. But bottom line, if you don't grab their attention in the first three seconds, you're gonna lose them. So you gotta have a great hook. Number one, got it. Very good. Way to stop the scroll. 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 Riddle me this. To truly connect and make them see, share a tale from history. What element makes your content memorable and relatable? That's a story. See, a story makes what you're about to teach relevant for your audience. For example, one of my early mentors way back, 20 plus years ago, when I first heard him speak, he taught in stories all the time. And I still remember one of the lessons he taught, which was about taking action. He taught about a surfer and how out in the water you'll always see surfers out there bobbin and bobbin. He said, but there are some of those surfers who will be bobbin all day, not catching any waves, but then there's always going to be those surfers that no matter what wave is coming their way, they're able to get up and surf and they take advantage of any wave coming their way. And the whole lesson was like, you know, many times people wait for the perfect wave. Well, the perfect wave is never going to come. You've got to take advantage of any opportunity that comes your way. And I still remember that because of the story as it related to the surfers. Stories are powerful. So always include them with whatever you teach. Good start. You're on a roll. Now find the road for the way to go. Too many choices will leave them in doubt. Simplify the journey to help them out. How do you ensure your audience doesn't get lost in information? This is an important lesson because when you teach a lesson, you want to keep the main point to either one or three max. If you get beyond that, let's say you've got five things you want your audience to remember or 10 or whatever, what's gonna happen is your audience is gonna get overwhelmed and they're not gonna remember anything that you have to share. So always ask yourself like, what's the main point? What's the main takeaway that I want my audience to have? Because we've all listened to those podcast episodes that have 11 ideas for this or 15 ideas for that, but by the time you get to the end of the episode, you've forgotten one through 14. So keep it simple, limit the lessons or the takeaways one to three max. Way to follow in my footsteps, almost there. Footprints. Riddle time. Remind them often, make it plain. Repeat your steps and they'll remain. How do you ensure your audience retains what you've taught? That's a summary. Too often, people don't take the things that they've been sharing with their audience and put a bow on it. 
one of the first lessons I learned from the amazing Charlie Tremendous Jones was tell them what you're gonna tell them, tell them, and tell them what you told them. Basically, give them a summary of the main points that you just shared in whatever it is that you are teaching. So give them a summary and that information will stick. Final clue. They need a nudge, a clear call to hear. Without direction, they won't come near. How do you guide your audience to do something with what you've taught them? Once that's solved, speak all five parts. Only then may you depart. What's the final thing? You gotta have a call to action. In anything that you teach, you want to be clear about the next step you want your audience to take. If it's a video, maybe you want them to click on something. If it's a podcast, maybe you want them to download something. Or if it's a lesson that you've taught, what is the next step that you want them to take with the information that you just shared. Whatever it is, you must have a call to action so that you make it clear for your audience what their next steps are. So this is the five part formula. Number one, you gotta have a hook that grabs their attention, pulls them in. Number two, you gotta have a story that makes what you're about to share relevant for your audience. Number three, your lessons. Never any more than three. Number four, then you have a summary where you wrap it all up. And number five, you have a call to action, clear about what you want your audience to do next. Congratulations, you proved yourself worthy this time. You've got a new subscriber. Using this framework, you can captivate your audience and guide them to take action to really make an impact with what it is that you teach. And in the process, grow your audience. Just remember that each piece of the puzzle is crucial for creating engaging and actionable content. Or in my case, just getting out alive. I'm just glad that is over. Oh no, they found out. Listen, my framework for teaching anything is pointless if you don't have the three foundational elements of online success. Quick, uh, go watch this video. You may be my only hope, hurry.